Hi again, in my last video I showed you all the plugin features. Today I am going to explain to you how you can create an image carousel. So let's get started. Make sure the WP Carousel Pro plugin is installed in your WordPress site. You can directly click add new to create a carousel or you can click WP Carousel Pro and then click add new. And give it a title for your carousel and select source type as image and below that click add image to select images from your media. Click create a new gallery to add those images for your carousel. For each image you can add a caption, a description and an external or internal link. And you can order the images by doing drag and drop like this. Finally click insert gallery to display those images in the carousel. So let's have a look at the carousel in the live preview. So click show preview and here you can see this is how the live preview looks like. Let's see some other carousel related properties. As you can see in the general settings, there are three carousel mode, standard, ticker and center. You have already seen the standard mode carousel. So now let's see the ticker and center carousel. So select ticker and update the preview and you can see this is how the ticker mode looks like. Now select center and update the preview and you can see the center mode carousel is showing in the live preview. Set a link type for the images from link, lightbox or none. When you select the link type as link and click on the image, it will take you to the link you have set to the image. When you select link type as lightbox, it will open the large image in the pop-up with many other options. And if you select none, then there will be no click action on the image. Now you may think it would be better if you could display the caption and description on the right side of the image. So what you can do is go to the style settings and you'll find the options to select a content position from bottom, top, right, left or overlay. Let me give an example of the right content position. So select right and go to the general settings again and reduce the column value to 3. And now if you update the preview, you'll see the right content position is displaying like this. And below that, you can show hide the image caption and description from here. So let's see how it looks when you hide the caption. So turn it off and update the preview and you can see the carousel looks like this. So now let's increase the column value to 5 again and in the lightbox settings you will find all the lightbox related properties. You can also configure the carousel control related properties like enable or disable the autoplay, autoplay speed, pause and hover, infinite loop, carousel direction and etc. So if I turn off the autoplay and update the preview and you will see that carousel will not slide automatically. You can also configure the navigation and pagination related properties as you like. So if I turn off the navigation and update the preview, you can see the navigation has gone but the pagination is still showing. Now let's show the navigation and if I change the navigation position to top right and turn off the pagination and update the preview and you can see the pagination has gone but the navigation is showing at the top right corner. Now you may want to create a multi row carousel. So how you can do that? The process is simple. There is an option named carousel row. You can set the carousel row value for responsive devices. So make sure you have enough images for the multi row carousel. So I am going to add a few more images by clicking add image and add to gallery and here you go I am adding some more images and now add to gallery again and update the gallery and if I change the carousel row value to 2 and update the preview you can see a multi row carousel is showing like this. Now let's go back to the single row carousel and publish the shortcode and copy the shortcode ID from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text, code or shortcode block. Now publish the page and view it. So you can see this is how the WP carousel looks like in a web page. So now let's turn on the caption from the style settings and you may need to change the caption font properties. So how you can do that? Go to the typography settings and here you will find the options so load caption font and caption font related properties so if i select it to oswald and update the shortcode 
reload the page and you can see the caption font properties has been changed to Oswald. There are so many options for you to customize the carousel to give it an elegant look. So that's all about how you can create an image carousel. I hope you have got a clear idea of creating an image carousel. In the next video I will come up with another features of the plugin. So see you in the next video.